Hello there! In this video, we will set up Redux for our Next.js app. To do that, we need to install some required packages. First, I will kill the server with Ctrl and C for Windows. Then I will run yarn add next redux wrapper, redux, react redux. You need these three packages for redux to be added to your next app. After installing all required packages, we will add Redux files to the next app. The way you arrange the files depend on your preference, but I will use one that is very common. First, I will make a folder called Redux, and inside it I will add folders for actions, reducers, and a file called types. Next, we proceed to add action types to our types file. The only type we will declare for now is our set name type. Types are basically instructions that tell Redux which actions to execute. Whenever we wish to tell Redux to do anything, we dispatch a type. Actions will be a collection of functions that will execute codes we specify and reducers will act as storage. The results of all actions will be saved by our reducers. Next, we create a reducer in a file called main. The main reducer will save whatever name we set in our app. Our reducer will use the type to decide which values to update in storage. So, we have to import all available declared types. To import all, we use the asterisk character and then we give it a nickname. In this case, I will import it as T, so T will give us access to all declared types. And then I will specify the position of the types file. Now I will write the main reducer as a const. This is a special method that will hold the user information. When it is invoked, it will receive the state, which is the current state, and the action as parameters for Redux. Then it will use a switch statement to find out which action has been called and what code to execute. The action will also contain a value which we will call a payload, and in this case the payload will be the new name. We will add a default case which will return the current state unchanged. Finally, we will export our main reducer. Now, we need a root reducer that will combine all available reducers into one. In this file, we will simply import all reducers, in this case, the main, and the package needed is the combine reducer from Redux. Now we simply combine all reducers and export as root reducer. Now we move to the actions where we will create a main action that will provide commands to the main reducer. It will have one function called the set info. This function will update the name of the user. We need to import the type as we did in the reducer since we need to specify that when sending information to the reducer. And also we need a payload which will be the new name for the user.
Going back to the main reducer, you will see we will use the action type to find the action, and we will use the action payload to provide a new value for the item in state which we wish to update. In the next video, we will link the Redux store to our main application.